This old whiskey barrel thing, guys, good morning. Doesn't want to stand up in the storms. So we have not too much of a mess. Seeds all stayed up here and intact. High tunnels all intact. Raised beds look okay. This shard's a little bent, but it's gonna be just fine. Have some broken leaves. My kale is looking gorgeous. And so are my mustard greens. Woo, I can't wait for those mustard greens to come up. Seed starts in this raised bed in front. And look guys, my lettuce is starting to come up. Inside the little high tunnel looks to be fine. I won't be planting outside the little high tunnel like I intended to, because it is muddy in there. Greg's repair on the tent, it stood. And as hoped and planned, Greg's cover crop seeds got washed in really good. I can't get out there, but the pumpkins look to be okay. I don't see there's a little bit in there that looks a little wind blown. But I think it's going to be just fine. So what happened? We did get a storm start to row through around 10 p.m. last night, and it brought with it um, a 50 mile an hour gust. And um, But then it was just heavy rain, a lot of lightning, a lot of thunder, and uh, our wind stayed between 16 and 23 miles an hour. Um, it's 69 degrees right now, so it's not cool, it's muggy. And then we're gonna get another blast of cool air tomorrow night, they said, with about a 25 mile an hour north wind. And it's gonna drop us down at least until, sorry, I had to yell at my dogs. Anyway, it's gonna drop us down into the low 50s, maybe even the 40s in our outlying areas. <clears throat> so we're expecting a brisk cool down on Saturday, but then Sunday we go back up to 80, and then we go, they're saying uh, mid 80s to upper 80s next week. So I guess that's fall like weather for us here in North Texas, um, but it's still a little warmer than what we really want, but we will take it over those 100 degree temps that we were getting. Yesterday, we got, we, we tied a record I think they said 96 degrees yesterday on October the 4th. 96 degrees, guys. So we're gonna enjoy these next couple of days. My Tempest, which we love that Tempest uh, weather station um, because I can get the wind, I can get the rain, I can get um, all kinds of information from it and lightning strikes and stuff like that. My Tempest is saying that we're not gonna get out of the 70s today, so we'll see. So we got three inches of rain almost. It was about 2.87 or something like that, but the wind was blow or the rain was blowing sideways. So I'm thinking we probably got really close to three inches of rain, which is really great. It's enough to green everything up right before our first frost. Now our first frost is not due until around mid-November. We'll see if that stays the course this year. I kind of hope it does because I really want to get some pumpkins out of here. And so that will give us um, about seven weeks maybe. And they should all start to come to fruition by then. I would really like them to come to fruition before Halloween. Um, I'm not sure that we will. There's some out there that's starting to turn, but uh, the majority of them are still green. Um, and I'll take them around Thanksgiving because we'll make pumpkin pie and stuff like that. And then I'll can uh, the pumpkin. I'm just excited we have something growing. So this black gumbo dirt will take several days to dry out. Um, that's the way this dirt is. It is um, hard as a rock when it's dry and in the summertime and you can't dig in it. I mean, it's just terrible, but when it rains, it stays wet for a significant amount of time and it sticks to your shoe and um, you would almost need snowshoes to go walk out there 
because uh, you could get, you could sink in it. And actually I've heard of people sinking in it when we've had a lot of rain. So there was a tornado warning east of us in Middle Othian, Texas. And uh, one of our community members who lives in Red Oak was under a tornado warning. And uh, so they were watching it. Look at this picture. You can see that is a significant hook echo, guys, right over Middle Othian, Texas. And we are just a little bit uh, west of there. So West Fort Worth got hail and uh, they were saying 70 mile an hour winds over there off uh, Camp Bowie, it blew the roof off a strip shopping center. And then in uh, our town just north of us, um, like just right here, and we're not considered in the city limits, lost their electricity during the night and it had been off um, much of the night. It may still be off. And then we have a community member that's a little north of us that lost electricity um, early and didn't get it until around 4 a.m. And she has a son that's on a ventilator at night so it was kind of a scary situation for them. And um, yeah, so there's electricity off. Um, there's some flooding and damage up in Fort Worth. We got the three inches of rain. It didn't, we didn't get any flood. Some of the cracks are starting to fill in, but not completely. When those cracks fill in, I'll know that we're okay here as far as um, our drought status goes. But uh, so thankful for the rain. So thankful that we did not get hail that we, our high winds were uh, brief and uh, we got lots of rain. So very thankful. Thank you guys for your prayers because I know you guys pray for us when you see that that's coming in. And, um, and boy, does your prayers work and, and we just covet them and we are so thankful for you guys in a praying community. So there's not much we're gonna be able to do outside. We can get some work done on the inside of the high tunnels today. And then um, I've got to package up some herbs and stuff so it would be kind of a nice day to get some things done um, that where I'm not having to be, you know, outside in the mud and stuff. And this will probably, um, it'll take a couple of days for that to dry out on that back acre. This up here will probably dry out um, tomorrow, especially if we get that strong north wind that they're saying. Everything tends to dry up very quick when we get a wind out here. So, time to get busy. Wanted to give you guys an update. Love you all. We will be in touch this weekend, especially when that cool weather uh, rolls in. We were, are gonna be very excited to get that and get our first crisp taste of fall. Love you all. We will see you soon. Take care, be safe. And I hope none of you had any damage last night. And I hope you all just got a good soaking rain. Mike and Rochelle, I don't know if it made it that far down to you guys. You'll have to let me know. But uh, we'll be in touch. Take care. God bless.